First, I'd just like to welcome everyone today and just let you know what an honor and privilege it is to be standing here in front of so many writers and authors. An important part of who we are is what we do, not only as individuals, but as families, schools, and businesses. Making a difference, be it donating your time to help others learn, be it picking up a wrapper off the street and throwing it in the trash, or to the ultimate act of giving your life for our country. It's the collective spirit that brings about change. Nelson Mandela once said, education is the most powerful weapon you can use to change the world. You now have access to that power. And so please, take Mr. Mandela's words to heart and go change the world. At Windy City Publishers, we chose to make a difference by helping participate in Literacy Chicago's Words on the Page. Being involved with this wonderful organization is our way of giving back to our community and to help a wonderful cause that is relevant and important in improving literacy. When we first learned about Words on the Page last year, we jumped at the chance to turn the students' essays into a book, a real book that represents the heart and soul from every student in this room every instructor, and every representative of Literacy in Chicago. To listen to the students read their essays is a humbling experience. As many do, we often take for granted what we assume to be our God-given rights. We saw last year how hard the students worked to achieve their dreams of learning to read and write. Each and every person became a role model and reinforced the importance of never giving up on a dream. But it's also inspirational to watch these brave writers stand up and shout to the world that they've achieved their goal and they worked hard to get here. Being able to read is a skill and a gift that not only opens up many doors, but it gives you the opportunity to expand your mind. Reading can entertain and educate. You can travel the world without leaving Chicago. You can visit another time and place. Or you can find yourself steeped in laughter just from reading a book. They're just words on a page, but a book can change you and make you a better person. And I see evidence of that today. Each of you in this room made a commitment to yourself, and through determination and perseverance, you achieved your goal. Your ability to do this at this time in your life shows the inner strength that each of you possesses. Learning to read and write are the first steps in your ability to make a difference. As you continue with your studies, remember what one famous doctor once wrote. You have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself in any direction you choose. That was Dr. Seuss, by the way. <laughs> in closing, to all the writers and authors out there, you now have the tools to write your own story. Best of luck, and thank you. <laughs>